when you're clipping a cat's nail, yeah, that's like that's where you don't want to clip. Uh. If you clip into that, then there will be blood. <laughs> Whose blood? Everybody. <laughs> Probably Binks is followed by mine. And you might have some blood born. <laughs> Welcome back to Game Eaters. Welcome to Game Eaters. <laughs> uh, I actually have a question for you regarding animals and yes. hygiene. <laughs> yeah. Up. Oh, damn. That was... Oh! I forgot that he gets after it. He's like uh, that one boxer guy. He's like the Ronda read. Rousey of big guys, and he will be defeated by another woman. But he beats women. Like so he's that. more like Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, that's, that's the guy. If you're watching this, Floyd... Uh, Tom said it. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit. Oh, so, yeah. Clipping yeah. nails. Clipping nails, yeah. In, in public. In public? In public. It's a no-no. You don't clip nails in front of other people. No. Uh, you Who wear... has nail clippers in public? Where is it okay to clip nails? Uh, I typically do them in the bathroom about once a week or so. I didn't I... ask how often you clip your when, nails, whenever, Tom. When... I just asked <laughs> where you clip them. Uh, in the bathroom before I go to bed most, okay. most times. So I would say... I typically it... don't do it like out in the living room. That's yeah, I did weird. that once That's and it weirded weird you right the fuck yeah. out. I've had other roommates do that and it's just like, Yeah, and after me? I did it that one time, I really regretted it. Yeah. Like fingernails, okay, but like toenails? And you're going to get that shit all over the place. Just in the bathroom. That's where you should be. All right. You remember this, feet. right? You got the flaming ball of fire that's going to come at. Oh, come yeah. At and nothing happened. You just had the oh, Indiana God. Jones the shit out of it, and that was it. Yeah, but we got to get close enough for it. Oh, here it comes. Does it kill everybody? Yeah. God, I hope so. Oh, that was the <laughs> coolest. Um... That was like okay. the Miles Davis. So of I weapons. would say, <laughs> I would say that pretty much anywhere that it's okay to be in your underwear, it's probably okay to clip your nails. Uh, like so, your bedroom alone, or I guess even your bedroom if it's like your significant other, you could probably clip your nails in front of them. But still, like your bedroom, a somewhat private place, the bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, some people like to hang out and just at home in their underwear or less. Yeah, but this is like a fully society is okay with it. Yeah. And I would imagine society has no problem with being in your underwear in the bedroom. Yeah. Gen at least American Western society. Yeah. Also, I'm not going to clip my, my nails like in a gym locker room. That would be uh, weird But too. see, if you're by yourself, you might it might be okay. You okay. know, I think all right, all as, right, long, all right. as long as you're by I'll, yourself. In I'll, private. I'll if, play along here. If no one's around... Clipping your nails in private is fine. If, and we're talking fingernails. We're not... Jeez Louise, he is being just a pussy and not coming at me. Here we go. Let me just... God damn! <laughs> Swing high, Matt. What, you want to push me? You want to push a girl? Weep. Alright, so this guy's dead. Anyway. But humans... Wash our hands. Why Why is it not okay to clip your nails in front of somebody? Particularly fingernails. Toenails, definitely, it's gross. Yeah. But why is fingernails not okay? Tom, I ask you this. I think clipping fingernails, I agree that it's weird and kind of gross, but I don't know why it's gross. It's, Check this shit out. Woo! Ooh, yeah. It's, uh, it's the shrapnel. Okay. The potential for shrapnel. Oh, yeah. And you don't want that stuff on you. That's like... Oh, worse than having a, a hair, and I think we already talked about this. Yeah, yeah, hair's gross. Yeah, but I, it's worse uh, to me if I found like a like a fingernail clipping in my potatoes or something. That'd be just awful. Check it out. There's a giant pig over here. There's a pig now. Yeah. Dear God. Um, we're gonna attract him. Why don't we just? We attracted him. Get out of the way. Because he will kill us. So why did you do this? Because we're gonna kill him. It's like a rhino pig. Don't go too far out. Oh! I don't think this is how he, he was meant to be attacked. But he can't fit through this door. And he's kind of weak. Oh, that is a creepy thing. Pigs are already creepy. And it's Apparently also... they're like super smart though. Yeah. 
It's also real creepy. He's dead. That uh, that their anatomy is really close to humans too. That's their also, internal anatomy. <laughs> it's also. I mean, I don't know. Do pigs have human-like penises? Well, uh, no. So like, I accidentally fell down here last time I tried to kill this guy. Is that a um, elevator shaft? No, it's just a pit. That um, might be an elevator shaft. I, I, don't, I don't think it is. How about this, Matt? How about we don't investigate and accidentally kill ourselves? No, it's not because it stops there. Okay. We might end up going lower and that would lead us there. Anyway, so clipping your nails. Yeah. Fingernails, it's just gross because, you say because of shrapnel. Yeah. Also, I find just the sound of listening to somebody yeah. else clipping their nails. Okay, so now we got... Now, now what about uh, like filing your nails in public? Filing nails, because girls do it all the damn time. Uh, I think, I think okay. that that's I think that's also about as bad. Basically, I don't think it's if you as have bad. to use a tool, that you have to bring it with you. Uh, grooming in public, I think, just in general. Not yeah, good. yeah. You know. Anyways, uh, we can now buy. By the way, um, the saw blade as well, which is one of the three weapons we could start. What off about with. the Captain Kirk hammer? Uh, we can't use it yet, so I'm not going to buy it yet. Oh, so what about bone saws? Bone saw. Anyways, uh, well, I can buy it now. Oh, uh, that was one of the things I wanted to pick up. Yeah. But, so, and. clipping your nails. Yeah, clipping nails. Humans wash their hands, so your nails are relatively clean. Uh, relatively. They're yeah. still very dirty, because dirt gets under there. Yeah. It's very dirty, but I'm, relatively clean. I'm looking clean. at mine right now. They're not, uh, they're not the, you know, some yeah. dirt over here. I recently clipped mine in the uh, bathroom. In, in the bathroom. This morning, after showering... So they were clean, ish. Like, you know, and when they're short, they don't get as dirty because they're short. Yeah. So there's not much room for dirt to get in there. Um, but that's not okay. All right, I clip Binks's nails in the living room, and Megan is here and has no problem with it. Why is it okay? Why is it more okay to clip an animal's toenails, fingernails, whatever, in front of people? Even though they definitely play with their poop with those nails, Binks poops in the litter box and scoops it with the nails that I am clipping in front of people, and yet that's okay. Well, okay, but Matt, when it comes to Matt, when it comes to my nails, which I'm not touching poop with, it is gross to clip in front of people. Well, here, here's <laughs> you're it, talking. Let's go back to your original. Also, wait, <laughs> not, not to, let's just continue this poop talk for a second. Human hair is gross, however, does not come into direct contact with poop. But dogs are known to chew on their own poop, roll around in their own poop, play with their poop, and we let dogs lick our faces, <laughs> and we pet dogs. <laughs> and uh, But, like, Binks has poop on his nails, I'm certain. He licks his paws, and then licks himself, and I pet him, and he rubs up against me, and I'm okay with it. But if I got poop on me and touched you, <laughs> you would think that was disgusting. Or if I touched Binks's poop, which he most certainly has on him, that's not okay. So why is it okay to be clipping animal things and being in contact with animal things if it's because an animal touched it? But if I touch that thing or do that thing, it is disgusting. <laughs> okay. My, my, <laughs> I want to have this conversation before we go into this because I'm going to need to focus. <laughs> minus the poop. You know, <laughs> minus, minus the poop discussion here for a second. Yeah. If we go back to your original statement here of, you can clip your nails, as long as you can be in your underwear. Yeah. Say, then you're okay. Well, dogs and cats, they show their asshole all over the <laughs> sure, place. Okay. Sure. So you can clip their nails wherever you want. But it's from not that logic. It's not. Well, I'm just saying that's where humans are okay. I'm not saying it's logical. <laughs> I'm just saying that. That it tends to be the places you can... I think it's because where you can be in your underwear yeah. is also a fairly private place. Yeah. Also, uh, now to your poop discussion. <laughs> human feces are terrible. The, the All preserv feces are terrible. The preservatives like we eat and stuff just make mm -hmm. our poop the probably the most toxic thing on the planet Earth. I That's definitely not true. I'm sure it is. It's definitely not uh, true. Because there's tubs full of plutonium... That are hyper radioactive. That are you've definitely probably worse. eaten plutonium from like food that. But it wasn't from McDonald's like or enriched plutonium <laughs> that has been. That's like the leftovers of nuclear fission. Is it fission or fusion that we do to get energy? Oh god, I don't even know anymore. Anyways, uh, human poop cannot be that much worse in retrospect than animal poop. It's the same. You know, we but eat, still we eat animals. 
but we don't eat humans because it's weird and gross. But still, it's my the question... the same thing about human feces. My question then can still be like, okay, what if I just went in Binks' litter box, picked up a piece of poop, yep. rolled it around my arm a little bit, yep. and then touched you with that hand or brushed you with that arm? Yep. Is that gross? It's gross. I would live with myself, though. If you, if you, <laughs> if you <laughs> right now the... drop trap, <laughs> <laughs> plopped a log in your hand, and, pooped and in started my... rolling it around all over your sleeve, I'm out of here. I'm never You're coming back. You're going to have to play Bloodborne by yourself. Okay. <laughs> um, and we're doing this while we're in the sewer. Yeah. I only know two things about plumbing. Okay. A, shit goes downhill. Yeah. And B, payday's Friday. <laughs> From my understanding, you can get pretty far in life knowing those two things. Um, so, Matt, really, I don't know why. It's, it's just there's it's a so cultural many cultural thing. There's so many hypocrisies where we're like, "Ooh, that's gross." But mm-hmm. if an animal does it, we're like, "Eh, whatever." I can touch an animal that's been rolling around in its own shit for the day. Now I don't care if my dog licks me, even though I just saw them tossing their frozen poop up into the air because yeah. they want something to play with in the yard. Now some of it might be because there's a name attached. Okay, for a human, like I, I can identif- identify with a human very easily because I am too a human. Sure. But, uh, you know, oh, that that's Brian. Oh, Brian's whipping his shit all over the place. That's We bad. name our dogs. Okay, I'm getting there. Okay. Okay, so you, so, so someone, you know, dogs just shit. Oh, that dog's pooping. Wait, that's a dog I know. That's Spot. That's g- disgusting. Mm. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not a parent. I, as far <laughs> as I know, you're not a parent. No. And apparently when you become a parent, you feces become no very, longer are a big deal. You out. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that also comes into play here in this discussion is since since neither of us as far as we know are parents to other people well yeah that's true uh that uh, i'm not a parent you know maybe more parents are more susceptible to clipping nails in public well and i know like when you're a kid your mom probably clipped your nails at some point yeah maybe not your mom because I was doing my laundry at the age of one. <laughs> you didn't have any laundry to do. Just I had to, I garbage. pooped in my pants. <laughs> Just throw it in the garbage. And my mom cleaned up my feces. Oh man, that was their job, is to feed me and clean up my <laughs> parents poop. are the professional worst. poop scoopers. Yes, they're not the worst. Well, professional, they, you have to get paid to be a professional. We pay them with happiness. They're amateurs. <laughs> they're picking up poop because they like it. <laughs> They like it. Is there a, a guy in here? There's notes over here, Matt. Fear liar. These are things. Don't you dare look at me. The hell? If you turn around and there's a I know, a guy I was about there. to oh. shit my pants. <laughs> and rub it all over my arm <laughs> and, and spread it. it around. I just... I hope you don't like I, this Here's po- the thing, sofa. though. I don't want Binks' poop on me. No. What, what about, like, the neighbor's cat? I don't want that poop. I don't want any poop on me. Well, obviously, but would you be more okay with Binx's poop on you than? I would be okay with nobody, the... nobody, and nothing's poop on me. But Binx sits on my lap all the damn time, so I get you see his butthole all, all the time, all the time. And it... have you ever seen my butthole? No, <laughs> there's reasons for that. Because you wear pants. Yeah, but some people, you know, they get up close and personal with each other's buttholes. That's true. I believe that's called tossing salad. Tossing salad uh, is also uh, ass to mouth. Yeah. Which... Rim jobs, for instance. Rim jobs. Uh, so clearly some people, but if you were like, okay, well, I'm just going to shit in my hand and draw on you like it's a marker, <laughs> like it's a crayon, they'd probably be grossed out. Yeah. Unless yeah. they're into like that two girls, one cup stuff. Yeah, then you'll be getting into the Dirty Sanchez, <sighs> the Cleveland Steamer. Do we have to have the accent? What accent was that? I don't know. It's a combination of all kinds of accents. It's kind of like I'm, Mexican I'm really and good Italian. at accents, Matt. So are we going to kill this guy? Or are we I think just we're going to start trying to kill him next time because... <sighs> because we're still infatuated with feces at Well, the yeah. And, uh, you know, it's about that time. <laughs> it, so, is, it is the time. So I think we're going to attempt this next time. Hopefully our... Uh, our lady that we talk to will come and help us. Yeah. But uh, we'll see you next time. But if she's clipping her goddamn fingernails. <laughs> or touching me with her poop. <laughs> I'm... Or touching me with her hand that touched her own poop or somebody else's. Yeah.
I am, I am out. I am just gonna lose it. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys next time.